I'm Sandy Genovese, and we're going to talk today about Common Core Collaborative Cards. You know, you can practice and reinforce the content from the Common Core State Standards with these interactive activity cards. Now, there are three domains that are covered. There is the one that is base 10, there is the one that is algebraic thinking, and there is one on fractions. And I'm going to bring the fractions here and show you. All of them are set up in the same way. There's 40 cards inside, and there's, they're divided by grade level. There's also an activity guide. Let's pull this out. There's an activity guide that explains the program and gives, this one has the answers to the questions on the cards, a number of other things that we're going to talk about in a minute. But let me show you how they're divided by grade. All of the green cards are for grade 3. All of the orange cards are for grade 4. All of the blue cards are for grade five. So to now just work with one grade, let me show you how this works and why they're called collaborative. I just think this is such a cool concept. You hand the cards out to all the students in your class. So if I hand out this card to this student, what the students do is they answer the problem that's posed on the card, then they have to go around the class and they have to find the three other people who have the same answer. It's not the same question. It's just they all have matching answers. In this case, this answer is one-fourth, but it's shown written as a word. Here is one-fourth that's shown written as a graphic representation. Here is one-fourth that's shown as a number line. And finally, here is one-fourth that, once again, is shown as a graphic representation or in pictures. So these four people would find each other because the answer in each case is one-fourth. Once they find each other, they talk about the problem and how they got the answer, and then they turn the card over and they look to see that each one of the cards has a role. So the person with this card is the recorder. If you look in the student and the teacher guide, it tells you that the recorder has several functions. One is keeping notes. This card is the resource manager. This person keeps track of time, and if all of the people in the group have the same question, they go to the teacher with that question. There's a discussion director and a team captain. Not all the roles are indicated in the teacher's guide. Here you can see the discussion director, the resource manager, the recorder, and all of the roles are listed. Now, as I mentioned, this is grade three of the fractions. The same thing happens in grade four and in grade five. However, the only way that you know that this is grade four is by this divider. It's not on the card itself. So if you have kids that are working ahead or behind their grade, they can work with any of the cards that are suitable for the skill where they're practicing. The same thing is true when you look at the base 10 cards or when you look in the algebraic thinking cards. You know, the Common Core Collaborative cards, they provide challenging and unique problems for your students that are completely aligned to the standards. And they can be used in an interactive format that will get your students out of their chairs and really thinking and talking about the math that they're learning.